This is exercise 5.5. So we have an in-channel MOSFET, an in-MOSFET, and it's given that the overdrive voltage is 0 0.5 volts. And if we have a drain source voltage very small, this, this device it presents a drain source resistance of 1K. So in part A, we need to find the device transconductance, so Kn. And I want you to remember the equation for the drain source resistance. So this one here holds for a very small VDS, right? So the drain source uh, resistance is equal to 1 divided by Kn prime times the aspect ratio. Okay. Times the overdrive voltage. Okay, now this Kn prime, the process transconductance times the aspect ratio, is the device transconductance. It's Kn that we want to find out, part A. So if we rearrange this equation here, we get that the device transconductance is equal to 1 over the drain source resistance times the overdrive voltage. And in this case, Kn, the device transconductance, is equals to 1K times 0 0.5, which gives us 2 milliamps per square voltage. So this is the first result. Okay, so remember that we have an overdrive voltage of 0 0.5, so that's a condition for for the in, in MOSFET. And remember that the overdrive voltage is equals to VGS minus the threshold voltage. Okay, so this is a parameter that once we set, I mean we can change, right? Because if we change VGS, we change the overdrive voltage. But for this particular problem, it's constant. So we are going to keep this overdrive voltage. So this is something that it's constant for this topology, for this analysis in this problem. Okay. Now, if we go to part B, it says that suppose we change VDS, this voltage here, to 0 0.5. So remember that in part A, that VDS was very small. Right, so we were operating in this region here, right, that I have in, highlighted in green. So for a small VDS, we are operating that triode region, right, because v, v, VDS is lower than the overdrive voltage, right. So this is our overdrive voltage, so we are operating with a VDS that's less than that overdrive voltage. And in part B, it says, what, what happens with ID, the drain current, if we increase VDF, VDS to zero, 0 0.5? So remember that this point in red here is exactly when we have VDS equals to the overdrive voltage. And it means that the N MOSFET starts to saturate. Okay, and when it starts to saturate, ID doesn't change, right? It keeps constant. It's the behavior that we have here in this region, right? It keeps constant. Now, the equation for ID in that condition is equal, so ID is equals to one half, and we can rearrange the equation because we, we have the, the the process transconductance times the the aspect ratio and we can represent that so remember kn prime times the aspect ratio okay of v overdrive okay squared of the overdrive voltage so this one here it's the device transconductance and we calculated in part a so we can substitute that here right so it's half times those 2 milliamps per square voltage times the overdrive voltage squared. So the overdrive voltage now is, sorry, the overdrive voltage 
it stays the same, so this is VDS, so it's 0 0.5 volts squared. So if we compute this equation here, we get 250 microamps or 0 0.25 milliamps. Okay. In part C it says what if VDS is 1 volt now? So what's the value of ID? And again, if we look at the the graph that we have up here, okay? So once we keep increasing VDS by more than overdrive voltage, by more than the overdrive voltage, ID stays the same. So in this case, we still have an ID that's equals to those 0 0.25 milliamps.